AJ Zero really changed the 2K community for the better. He made unique content. He basically told everybody that you can do other things in 2K and still be successful at YouTube. So in the video, I'm telling you why Agent is so successful and why people like his content. Because in a podcast, he said he does nothing special, but he just work harder than everybody else. So it's your boy DTB Dan, and let's get into it. Fuck. Lo, do you not love me? Whoa, 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 bro. No, you can't get that close. You can't, you can't get that close. Wait, wait. Why are you touching my hand? I'm trying to switch up. Shorty, who you calling? I ain't saying that I'm jealous. But you on my queen every time you in my presence. AJ Zero born in Toronto, Canada. At like 12 years old, he started doing like graphic design. He did YouTube for six years unpaid. In 2K16, he started doing a My GM series, which that kind of got people to notice him, I guess you would say, but not really. That just that was just his first main series that he really liked to talk about. Then when 2K17 came, he was known as like the best sharpshooter basically. That was his kind of like tag. In 2K17, he started doing funny moments. Then he took that he ran with it in 2K18, 19, 20. He he did a bunch of funny moments in 2k also in 2k17 he did a lot of per m videos because it was the one program video that he did he he scored like 112 points in a program game which was crazy so in 2k17 he would basically try doing funny moments and then he did program so he was just like expanding from doing my league content and throughout 2k18 and 17 agent zero did the same thing really he just did funny moments program videos and that's how he just got through 2k18 and 19 but when 2k20 hit he did something very unique and special that no one had really seen any other 2k content creator do and agent zero changed the whole 2k community by doing this and 2k20 agent decided he wanted to make his content on things other than 2k he made his second channel he made his amp channel with people from the 2k community like Duke Dennis, I'm Davis, and then he made a podcast called Peer to Peer where he just talked about his stuff that he likes to talk about. He made his playback channel. I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like I missed a channel because he making so many channels and then he said he's gonna make a new channel which is ridiculous and all those channels have over 1k subscribers which is very impressive because most of these aren't even a year old. Alright but now why do why do people watch his content? The only thing I'll tell you is Agent Zero is the hardest worker you will see on 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 YouTube. Agent just a regular guy who just worked harder than everybody else to get where he was at. That's really inspiring just to know put in like the work you will see like success sooner or later. It might take six years like he did Agent. It might take ten, it might take five. You just you gotta keep working hard in order to get to where he you wanna be. A lot of people watch his content mainly for I feel like now I have to go I have to talk about like each channel he has and talk about why people will watch his his or their content. That I just I, I just that friend do because this man has like so many channels. His first channel, AJ Zero. People go to his just for just for like funny moments, just for like 2K like funny moments. If people want to see like gameplay that's like competent, they will not go to his channel. <laughs> I ain't even a lot. The gameplay on the channel is not is not good. But like people still go to his channel. And people also might go to his channel because of just 2K news. Cause recently he doesn't he don't play 2K that much. I mean, who does play 2K nowadays? So that's another reason why people would go and watch his content. Now, when you look at his second um channel, his second channel, I ain't for a lot. He posts anything he wants to, he just doesn't care. Now, this channel is for people who just want to see more of Agent. They're gonna go to this channel to see a bunch of more content that Agent does that's not 2K related. So this second channel is just more for like more of Agent. The next channel is AMP. So I'm not gonna get into AMP because I'm planning on doing like a whole separate video just for. Or AMP. So yeah, next channel, Peer to Peer Podcast. If you don't like, if you don't like podcasts, check out the Peer to Peer Podcast. Cause look, this podcast isn't just like an ordinary podcast. Him and his roommate Lo, they make the podcast where they talk about random things. They might talk about like life things. They might talk about racism. I don't know why that came up to my mind the first thing that they talked about. I don't know why. They might talk about Lowe's fiance, like dating advice, love advice, how to know when you're in love, getting whipped in the bedroom, getting dominated in the bedroom. You don't watch this when you're like really trying to pay attention to something. 
It's like background music. So when you're like vacuuming, washing the dishes, just put the podcast on and you keep the same. And the last channel, playback channel. The playback channel is just for bashing women. I ain't finna lie. But I mean like if you like reactions, you you should check out the um, playback channel, just reactions. So AJ first channel. People go through it for funny moments, 2K funny moments. Agent Zero, just more of, of Agent, and they really like Agent and want to see what he does in day-to-day life. And the Peter Prick podcast is really just for people who like hearing people talk and who just like listening to, you know, just good conversations. Play, playback channel, people just go to it just for reactions kind of thing. Why do people subscribe to Agent Zero? I ain't for a lie, it's, a, it's multiple reasons. It could be because he works really hard and he puts a lot of effort in videos and he doesn't do subpar videos. But it could also be because they like 2K content. It could be because he likes they like vlog content on the second channel. Because they like podcasts. Last year he diverse himself so put his like seed in like so many places. So you you can't be put him in a box anymore. Because like let's say like two years ago you would say okay yeah that's the guy from 2K who does funny moments. But now you can't really do that. He was a 2K YouTuber, but now he does other things. So Agent said what he was going to do. He said he didn't want to be just a cookie YouTuber anymore. Now he's not. He's a podcaster. He reacts. He does high quality videos with AMP. He does a lot of things now. That's really how Agent came up. And that's how Agent successful. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video about Agent Zero. Let me know who should I do next. I've been doing the whole AMP squad. So let me know who I should do besides them. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more bigger content catching video. Peace out.